morning. Uh, first of all, uh, my apologies to all of you that I could not be with you personally. Uh, it so happens this year that you know my rare vacation and the inauguration are coinciding. But first of all, uh, let me congratulate all of you. I think uh, just by virtue of the fact that you are in this room, uh, you already are part of a very select group at one of India's premier business schools. Secondly, by virtue of the fact that you have opted for the global management program, you have shown you an orientation um, both in terms of risk taking and willingness to learn. That is something that we would like to applaud. Now, I'd like to take a little bit of time to talk a bit about our institution and its approach to the program and then a little bit more about what we would expect from you and how you should look at your time in this program. SPJMR is a constituent of Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan, which was set up in 1938 by Sri K.M. Munshi. Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan uh, was set up with the goal of preserving and keeping relevant traditional Indian values in the emerging modern world. Now, in the case of SPJMR, the way this influences us is through our goal, which is of influencing practice and promoting value-based growth. Now, when you look at influencing practice, you are a large part of the way we influence practice, that the way we influence practice is by sending out value-based practitioners into industry and into the real world. Now, when you look at SPJMR, what is unique about our approach is our stress on knowledge, skills and attitude. Now, uh, let me let put, just put knowledge, skills and attitude in the context of, let us say, what it takes for a successful student of the GMP program. Uh, you will do six months of coursework in India. In that coursework, you will acquire knowledge about languages. You will acquire knowledge about various dimensions of management. You will then go and supplement that with coursework in an international institution. Uh, the coursework that we will do here will be foundational. It will be built upon by the coursework there. You will also do internships. Knowledge gives you the fundamental understanding of the management concepts, the fundamental understanding of the building blocks of knowledge, etc. Skills lie in applying the knowledge. So let us say I teach a theory of motivation or let us say I teach a way of optimizing a production process, uh, that is knowledge. In terms of applying it, you have to get real data from real people and you have to have conversations. You have to have the ability to listen, you have the, uh, the ability to draw insights. So a skill is a repetitive pattern of behavior that is productively applied. So knowledge converted to skills. But finally, beyond all this, there is attitude. Because in order to translate knowledge and skills, into results on the workplace, you have to manage and management involves getting things done through people and resources. And there, if you are a person who is worthy of trust, if you are a person who cares for the people who you work with, then the attitude component will really convert and close all of this. Now, how is this relevant for all of you? Um, very often you are equipped with knowledge and skills, but you are going into a new country. Uh, you are going into a country where you have learned the language, but you are not a native of the language. Therefore, one of the things that you will strongly need is the ability to learn. One is learnability. The second is often when we go into a new country, there is a tendency to stereotype and be comfortable, where you say Germans are like this and the Dutch are like this. But instead, when you are looking at the people in a new country, when you learn to celebrate the differences and build on our similarities, our similarities across countries and cultures are much, much larger than our differences. Then you will be totally integrated and at the same time retain your identity. And this is something that is going to help you to succeed. So um, knowledge, skill and attitude. And we have traditionally seen that the GMP batch is among the most enthusiastic, the most high energy batches in our institute. And I'm sure you will keep up this wonderful tradition. So uh, I'd like to add to uh, two or three simple things that you could do. One is that, you know, I learned four years of French. I got pretty good marks. I could not have a two minute conversation with a Frenchman because the pace of speech and the accent is not something that was measured in the exam. One of the things we would urge you to do is that as you learn languages here, do not just pass exams, learn to speak, learn to watch movies, 
learn the language under the assumption that you can use it as a day to day language of work. This will be one of the large contributions to your employability. Second is we talk about SPJIMR as an experience and a large part of that experience, yes, the academics will keep you busy, but you were recruited also because you have a unique personality and you have talents outside academics. Try your best to keep at least one other talent alive so that you can explore all your interests and you can add to the rich community life that we have at SPJMR. And thirdly, there is a term we use at SPJMR called the SPJMR family. A family lives for each other, a family shares with each other, a family contributes to each other, a family trusts each other and when things go wrong, the family solves problems within. So come into this saying, this is your family, this is your institute and on that final note, I can only say welcome to the family. Thank you very much. I hope you have a great time in the program. I look forward to meeting you in the classroom sometime in the second fortnight of June. Thank you.